on Tuesday night. All right, we are stepping up to the plate here in the kitchen. We have Chef, uh, Chef Bob here Asawa from Farm Fresh, and we have a wonderful-looking tropical delight, plantains, mango, pineapple, and kiwi. Chef Bob, what are we cooking this morning? Kind of go along with Jeremy's forecast, kind of a little tropical action. With uh, We're going to do a Caribbean jerk pork uh, tenderloin, mm -hmm. and then we're going to uh, add it. We're paired up with a tropical salsa. Uh, we're going to kind of do a nice little presentation here for us and uh, finish it off with a little coconut rice. Is this something perfect for the summertime? Perfect for the summertime. It's, it's a light and healthy. Um, yeah, we're going to go for it. All right, we're going tropical this morning in the kitchen with Chef Bob. Whoa, 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 Carrie. She goes on camera and she just <laughs> goes with it, but it's really not her turn. It is not your turn. That's worked for 20 we are years. In, <laughs> forget what she just said. We are in the kitchen this morning with Chef Bob here Sour from Farm Fresh, and we are making a delicious tropical feast: mm -hmm. roast jerk pork tenderloin, fried plantains, and all kinds of yummies. Yeah, and you know, hey, this is super easy. It is really healthy, and we can even make it more healthy if we didn't uh, pan sear this. But we're right. going to do that just for ease of working in the kitchen here. You throw it on the grill, works just as well. And as okay. you can tell, Chef Bob's going to put me to work. You, Absolutely. You lead the way and I'll okay. follow. Well, talking about the uh, pork tenderloin, you can you get these and usually in a two-pack um, offered at, you know, at Farm Fresh. Mm -hmm. um, it's pretty clean for you. I mean, when I'm talking about clean, it's, it's trimmed up, has a lot of fat taken off. Um, it's a super lean piece of meat mm -hmm. um, uh, and, it, and it really eats nice and tender for you. But it's already pretty much done. It, you split the bag open, throw it in, and you season it up. And yeah, it looks ready, ready to, to roll. roll. Yeah. So we got, we got the, uh, the, the pork there. We're going to add together in this bowl, we're going to mix together a little bit of the jerk seasoning. And this is a, a mix, a pre-mix, and you can get that off okay, the Okay, so a little bit in here? Uh, go, go the whole thing. All, uh, whole yeah, thing. All, all right. right. Okay, and then you can take a little bit of oil. This Let's say about oil. do about half of that. Let's half see of the works. oil. And then kind of work that in a little bit. And really what we're doing is we're trying to make almost like a paste. Mm -hmm. And what we're really trying to do is just to make it be something that's going to be, uh, work well with, um, um, and sticking to the, to the pork here. Well, it is definitely okay. coming together real well. Uh, anything else here? I got another little... Nope. No, that's that's it. There. Yeah. All right, ready to rub? Yeah, just going to rub that on there. Okay. And actually marinate it into the, or my, massage it into the meat a little bit. Okay. And just kind of work it all around, just kind of get well, it covering. I do appreciate the fact that you brought me some gloves, Bob, because oh, yes. this is kind of this is a messy deal <laughs> right here. And while we're doing that, while you're you know you're massaging your meat there, I'm going to go ahead. Hey, and, now. Uh, hey now, Bob. Bob. Hey, we're going to go ahead and throw some plantains. We're going to fry the plantains up in some hot oil. So uh, okay. well, talk about the plantain. Is that mm -hmm. just? I guess that's just a member of the banana family. It's a member of the banana family. Just you know, and surprising, we kind of really just see just. Um, a couple of varieties usually on majority, you know, uh, commonly found in our grocery stores. But the plantains are a cooking banana. Um, there is actually a, another type of banana that's team, deemed as a cooking banana, but there's like over 100 varieties. You really mm -hmm. can't eat a plantain raw, can you? It wouldn't be very good, would it? You, you, you can, um, but I don't know how they'll work on your stomach. Because it actually, the plantains really are, uh, to me, they taste like when, you're, when, when you actually cook them up, they taste more like a, a yam. Oh, okay. Versus, versus. Yeah, it kind of looks like one. Yeah. Want to go ahead and drop those in here. All righty. We're just going to give that searing off. Really, what we're just doing there is we stir go. it up, and we're going to finish it in the oven. Okay, we're frying these up. Okay. And we'll just keep that off the side. We're going to save that because we're going to drop that back. Use that to oh, that's do, right. to throw in the oven there. Okay. I'll put okay. that off this side there. Chef Bob is a really good instructor, <laughs> and I'm trying to be a good student. Oh, you are very good student. Okay. You are very good. Ah, You're very calm. There you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. Um, while you work on the gloves, there, I'm going to just kind of throw together the tropical salsa. Mm -hmm. What I have here is uh, mango, mango, diced mango. up. Okay. Uh -huh. Little Got pineapple. Little pineapple. What I did on here, and we'll kind of get to that a little later, I grilled off the pineapple, took, used some of it for the presentation, and I'm going to go ahead and use some of this for the salsa. And I'm going to finish off some kiwi. Kiwi. Add a little bit of red onion. Whoa, 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 whoa. You added onion to fruit? Mm-hmm. Aren't you kind of mixing up the flavors there? It just gives it a little bit more balance. So it can just give it a little more okay. depth there. Okay, right, just check. A little red onion, a uh, red, red pepper, and that's basically more for the presentation of the color. Color, right? Yeah. Keep it colorful. And option, if you want, I put a little salt, uh, cilantro in there. I like okay. cilantro. We're going to give this a little, we're going to give that a little balance. We're going to have a little bit of rice vinegar. Okay, it's going to, it's a sweet and sour action going. Flip it. it. Yep. Go ahead and oh, I'm sure turn that up too. There you go. Now I got a nice little sear on that. Yeah. And we're going to add a little bit of honey here. 
So uh, jerk pork, I guess uh, jerk comes from Jamaica? Comes from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. It's it's um, a seasoning. It used to be mm -hmm. like a way to preserve meat. It was. Um, it's, it's you know we see it now as just a uh, uh, a I think it comes from Jamaica via from from Africa. From Africa, right? Yeah, and and blending of the flavors. Usually it's a very geographical thing where you know they tend to mix what um, uh, what you have readily available, and that's kind of uh, grown into almost like their national spice. And okay, so you've mixed up the fruit. Is that it? That's pretty, That's it. Wow, that looks great. So, and uh, you know, hopefully you can, and then you just want to let it sit for a couple minutes, taste it, and just don't need flavors. If you need to add a little sugar to it, but you shouldn't because it's really, really sweet, you might want to add a little, um, little vinegar mm -hmm. or a little lime juice that I had here just to kind of balance it out a little bit. Okay, okay. I see you got the honey sitting off the mm -hmm. side. Are we ready for that? Or is that I, gonna be safe? I, I put the honey in. Oh, you already did? Yeah. I right. missed that. You are working on your meat there. No, okay. Enough about that. Okay. All right. I, I can hear them in the control room right I now. I know, I know. They're all like, hey, Bob, shut Bob, give it to them. Okay. All okay, right, so how are we doing? That's good there. If you want to throw it. Are you sure it's good? Yeah. Okay, you're going to finish it off we're in the oven. We're going to finish off in the oven. It's going to take about maybe oh, 10, 15 minutes. We're going to want to look at an internal temperature of about 145 to 150 degrees. For how long? You said 15 minutes? Uh, about 15 minutes. 15 yes. minutes. Okay, that gives us perfect time to come back in a few minutes to uh, wrap this puppy up. Chef yep. Bob here Sour from Farm Fresh uh, making his jerk pork tenderloin. See you in a few minutes. Thank you. We are going tropical today in the kitchen with Chef Bob here at Sawa from Farm Fresh. All right, jerk pork tenderloin. What we're going to pull right out of the oven right now? This is the magic money meat shot. <laughs> Stephanie, you should look on Stephanie's face. <laughs> there it is, the magic shot. The magic shot. Yeah, that looks great. Okay. All right, yeah, pork is done. Pork is done. We're going to let it rest just for a minute to soak. You know, when we let meat rest after it's come out, because you want the juices to kind of mm -hmm. recirculate into it, the whole the whole meat, so yep. it doesn't. Um, it's good to let it rest. rest. So let right. it rest for a second. We're going to try to taste that. We said come back to the salsa. Let it sit for a few minutes. We're going to let it bloom. Mm -hmm. All the flavors going to bloom. I want you to taste it and see if there's any adjustment. We we talked a little bit off camera. Maybe I, maybe add some. Uh, you know, here's the thing. Juice. I noticed that there's a lot of juice, a lot of juice in the bottom. Mm -hmm. Um, tastes delicious. Is it there? I mean, I got I taste the honey mm -hmm. and the citrus and the lime. But I think maybe just a little bit more. A little, little bit more. Just a little bit. That's good. So, there you go. Yep. It always makes you feel better that you added something. Yeah. And okay. then we're all we're all set. So that's gonna be that's put off to the side. We are gonna talk about we do make coconut rice. The coconut rice mm -hmm. is basically uh, what I did was one part rice, two parts coconut milk. Um, I did is unsweetened, so I had a little bit of sugar just to sweeten it up and give that that balance. Also toasted coconut in there. Toasted coconut. Toasted coconut. Nice. I like that because that kind of brings out the sweetness in it. Gives a little texture too, and then there's little scallions on top. Okay. Okay. And uh, you've told you've told me to to to, to go to, ahead and told you to dress in up. here, dress you in, dress put up. the gloves in because you're gonna put me to work. And I've real I've okay. had a lot of trouble in the past cutting pineapple. And I don't really, I don't think I really know how to do it. I just yeah. start hacking it up, and hopefully I got it right. Unfortunately, I, I cut the ones. I should have saved one for you. We can done it from from then. And that and right, mangoes. Bob. I was thinking after I cut the last mango, I said, man, I should have maybe left that. Too. That's okay. We'll, well come back still to that. have a, a partial pineapple here. Yeah, and, and we're going to try to make this kind of a great presentation. Can okay. I see I have a couple already done here? I see that. Okay. Um, Am I just squaring this? Yeah. Well, actually, we're, no. What you're going to do is not going to square it because you I just cut All it right, out. Why don't you walk I'll, me through I'll, the first okay. one? First one, I'm just going to take down here, leave the top intact, take it down to the bottom. We're going to turn the knife a little bit, come around to the bottom here. And then come down from this side. Okay. Almost like filleting a fish. Yeah, almost like. And now we're just going to go ahead and you, you talked about that that core. The core is hard. Yeah, you know I'll take it this way, but you don't want to cut towards yourself. Just take it to the side, cut it about a 45 degree angle, and that's most of the core out there. Okay. Okay. And then what what I did was I took them next step. I took them, sliced them down, uh, grilled them, mm -hmm. just so you get the natural caramelization out. I chopped up some, put it in the salsa. Right. And now we're going to use some for a presentation here. Awesome. So I'll let you do the next one. Okay. Well, listen. While I do the next one, why don't you talk about the perfect pairing, wine pairing for uh, jerk gotcha. pork tenderloin? Yeah. Well, I think just for this meal, um, kind of want to suggest a few wines here. This is Wine Week. Mm -hmm. um, these are all readily available at Farm Fresh, and they're very affordable too. Uh, so there's, it's re very reasonable wines. Maybe start out with a aperitif. This uh, Lunetta uh, uh, Prosecco. I uh, know I was going to mess that up. That's all right. That's a nice sparkling wine, light, a little bit fruity, kind of gets you off to start. Good start there. A um, couple pairings with actually the meal. So, you know, there's, I uh, got the little bit of spice of the uh, the pork tenderloin. 
Um, Going to start out with a, a white suggestion, and a white is a, a riesling. Right. Light, fruity, kind of uh, gives a balance to the to the uh, um, the spices. If you prefer a red, um, have this gnarly head um, uh, Zinfandel here. Um, That's the label, yeah, gnarly head. Gnarly head. It's kind of cool. Isn't it? it is cool. Yeah. I like the label too. And it, yeah, this and it, this one is. Um, it was kind of described to me. I haven't had it yet, but it's kind of described to me as more of a. Uh, it's a very bold. Um, stands up to spice as well. Almost kind of a jammy kind of a feel to it. So, you, do you think a fruity wine with a fruity dish is probably the way to go? Um, you know, I think it all kind of works together. Mm -hmm. But I think you're looking at the main dish being the, the the pork and the spiciness. I looked at trying to balance things on the dish. Right. But then you also want to have wines that kind of go along with it. You know, and that's all. It's all personal taste. Right. You may want to go with a dry just to right. kind of get that other side of things going too. Now you recommend a white, but you also said that you said that it's okay to go with a red. Oh, absolutely. It, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That pork kind of lends to go either way. All right. And so you know, we're gonna kind of, and then we're gonna kind of show a little presentation here, hopefully. Make it quick. Okay. Make it quick here. Yeah. We got some live here. music to get to, Bob. Yeah, absolutely. Can't hold that up. He sounds awesome. Yes, he does. We're just gonna slice this a little bit of an angle here. Uh huh. We're going to go ahead and maybe start with the pork, maybe that. Ah, look at that. that. Mixing it up like and a little pork, pork pineapple, pineapple, and plantain sandwich. Right. But it's kind of, we're going to just kind of add this along here. Uh huh. And add that. And something tells me you might top it with the mango salsa. Well, either that or put that on the side, either way. Uh huh. Take that and we can put a little bit of this, I would say, put a little bit of this on the Maybe the back side. Nobody does it better than Chef Bob here at Sawa doing a little tropical dish for us this morning on our Friday as we go into the weekend. We're going to play a little music for you in just a second. He is Bob here at Sawa, and that is how he does it at that's, Farm Fresh. That's how it's done. Great job, Bob. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey guys, we're back. Hey, we are. We're all singing. Look at this. <laughs> Yes, it's a, a place. tropical party in here. We're having like yeah, a little luau, Bob. Yeah, we got a pineapple luau. boat here. That's Delicious. Right. Ooh, like that's it. a little spicy on the tenderloin. Oh, so we're gonna if it's bring spicy, it back, let me get into this. We'll all back in with the fruit. Yeah, I took, mm -hmm. get, you got to get the, a little piece of the pork and the pineapple on the same mm. fork, and then mm -hmm. you're okay. That's right, and cinnamon on the plantain. Mm. That's mm -hmm. a little kick. All right, really quick, got to do our trivia yep. answer. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm coconut. Yeah, just wait. Coconut <laughs> rice is good. Let's take a look at it. Here you go. Murphy's Bro lies here to cause pain, uh, bordered by the Schwann River and famous American <coughs> car brand. Kind of a little wordplay here. Well, are you clearing your throat or are you like, you would answer, but you took a I bite? I would, but I took a bite. Okay. How about you? I got it. I got Hartford. It. Hartford. Hartford County. Hartford County. Hartford. 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 County. Hurt this is where it comes in. So yeah, yeah put the words together. And, all right, boom, come on. the winner is going to take home the swag bag of the Step Up Revolution. Plus, you're going to get to go see the movie. Pete is wearing the uh, tank top, kind of, and you get chapstick <laughs> and a little bag and all that fun and good stuff. So, a big thank to Chef Bob. The, yeah. um, oh, thank the uh, pineapple is delicious. Yeah. Everything is. Don't forget about everything we learned about chocolate good, good today job. from uh, Melanie Maybe. Woodrow. Her Healthy and Hampton Road segment will be at thehamptonroadshow.com. And I want to thank our audience for being here today. There have been on